your threat intelligence, your cyber program basically mirrors what the NSA does. You collect, you try to disseminate within your organization, you try to preserve privacy, all that kind of stuff. Did you operate like an intelligence organization? Yeah, I, I think so in a lot of ways. I mean, we definitely would fit into that category and, and just, you know, we follow follow the same intelligence uh, management life cycle that appears in the DOD manual. And, and you, know, you can rip that out of that manual and poke it into the training that we do internally. So it's one thing to talk about vulnerabilities and, you know, what the industry is doing there. But 9-11 you know, happened when you were at an MSSP. And, you know, you, you told me that, that that was like the birth of resilience. Right. And, and, and uh, recovery and all that, that kind of stuff. So how do you measure that in the finance industry? And uh, there were definitely a lot of changes made that day where, you know, all, all of a sudden, um, the backup systems that were supporting Wall Street were located a few blocks away and people never thought that anything like that would happen in a geographic area. And suddenly it did. And so resilience, uh, as to your point, is is born. But 20 plus years later, we're still learning. And I, you know, I just think about like some of the recent events that have happened, like most recent one in my mind would be like sort of that uh, the faulty CrowdStrike update from last summer. I mean, all of a sudden, blue screens happening everywhere, people wondering what's going on, and just all of these outages, not just in healthcare, obviously, but airlines uh, having, you know, flight delays, etc., and lots of impact across the board. So, yeah, I think I think I think that we need to step it up when it comes to um, resilience and operational capability and it's not just and, and CISOs don't necessarily just have to worry about security they've got to think about this too if systems start going down can i maintain operations and it's it's interesting because we're recording this in october of 25 but you know we started in the 90s and we saw the birth of wi-fi we saw the birth of virtualization we saw the birth of mobile we saw the birth of cloud every one of these things is a little bit more resilient than the last thing but now if we described, if you ask somebody, how does your network work? You know, they're going to be like, well, here's Salesforce. <laughs> here's all the apps that connect into Salesforce. And they're never right. going to draw like the local, you know, layer, hardware right. layer or things, things right. like that. And firewall and then everybody exactly. else, right? And yeah. it's it doesn't flat just networks and yeah. zero trust and all this kind of stuff. So it's, it's, it's interesting. So I, what I want to talk about then is let's, let's start pivoting to the healthcare industry. Tell us what's different about healthcare from finance and and what we should be thinking about this as a critical infrastructure. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll start on the soft side.